New York is an amazing city to stay in. There's so much here that's going on every single day. You have access to so many resources on campus. Um, take advantage of it. Go on the main campus. There's a lot of things to do there. Go visit the other school libraries. Butler Library, go visit the Law Library. You have Your Columbia card gives you access all over the campus. Our lawn on the main campus, especially when the day is beautiful, I think that's one of the best experiences you can have up at Columbia. You can just have your lunch, you know, have a picnic with your friends. The homecoming game, so I would go to a football game, go to a basketball game, just try to go to as many events as possible and meet other students from other schools because you never know where that's going to take you. Every spring, Columbia University hosts this Surf and Turf Fest. It's held at Lerner Hall. You just need your ID to get in and you just have a free night of yummy food and you deserve that. If you want to eat something, we have a lot of restaurants here nearby. There's a great Indian place um, that sells pretty authentic Indian food on 110th Street called Roti Roll. Miko Sushi down the street has the best lunch specials. I would say like the little mom and pop looking shops are probably like the better places to eat. They'll get like a regular slice of pizza from like a regular like New York shop. A good place to go when you don't have enough time is Apple Tree. They know you as a student and they, they do things very quickly. I would take advantage of subconscious it's like the best sandwich shop. And they give you a discount if you show them your CSSW card. If you want to try Venezuelan food or Latin food, you should go to El Cocotero. It's on 18th Street between 7 and 8th Avenue. They have great Venezuelan food and the service is great. You, as soon as you enter, it's a small space, but you feel like you're somewhere else. You don't feel like you're in New York City. Self-care, self-care, self-care. Find out what your self-care is, you know, and make time for it. For me, it was really just listening to music on the train and just distancing myself. Yeah, I had movie festivals at home, and I, invite, I would invite 10 or 15 friends over. We'd watch movies on a Friday night. We have a nice gym uh, where you can work out. I believe it's 24 hours. You can go swimming, doing treadmill or running or whatever. I run on Riverside Park. Actually, I've been stepping. I don't know if you guys know what step is. It's like a form of dance, but it's like more structured with clapping and um, moving your feet. It's mainly originates from Africa, but I've been stepping since I was in middle school. So it really became an outlet as a stress reliever. I actually got into rock climbing. I am a part of the cliffs. I'm a member there. It's in Long Island City. They have 60 feet walls. Um, indoors. It's it's my happy place. Use your ID and go to your free museums. I was actually just at the cloisters with a friend. Sometimes I went to Times Square, a lot of people there, but I love it and wow, it's so excited. And then sometimes I, and then I forgot my problems. Go explore the parks, explore Riverside Park, explore Central Park. Um, Morningside Park is right around the corner. Um, get outside, self-care. Do what you need to do to make yourself happy. They say, you know, New York uh, is a city that never slumber. So when you come to Colombia, Colombia also does, does never slumber. There are always activities.